Hi there, uh, my name is Jen Meyer uh, with the Kelowna BCSPCA. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take you through to all our, our different cat rooms and explain a little bit about each one. Um, so right now we're standing in front of our kitten room, our little nursery. Uh, right now we actually have 14 kittens in here. And they range in age from uh, eight weeks up to six months. Um, all of our cats and kittens that do go out of the shelter are coming out spayed and neutered. So if you are interested in possibly adopting a little kitten, uh, please come on down to the shelter and take a look. Okay, so next we have our adoption room. And this is technically a clean room where the cats have never been sick. Uh, right now, as of today, we have 37 cats in this room, uh, which we are over capacity. We're actually over capacity in every room. Um, so if you are considering um, adding a new family member, please come on down and uh, consider adopting a cat. Um, so these guys range in ages right from six months up to about you know, 15, 16 years old. So all different types, breeds. Um, lengths of hair, all of that. So uh, the best thing really is just come on down and see who you might be able to bond with. Okay, and so next we have what we call our front recovery room. Um, it is one of our PERDA rooms. Now PERDA stands for Post Upper Respiratory Disease Area. That means that they've had the common cold of cats. They are better now. Um, they might still have the odd sneeze, maybe runny eye, something like that. Um, but for the most part, they're healthy. Uh, the only thing to remember is that they can still shed the disease for between six months to a year after having it. Um, so if you do, um, if you are considering adopting one of these cats, just keep in mind if you have either a very young or very elderly cat at home, it might impact them more than it would just a regular normal healthy cat. Okay, so next we have our female PERDA room, which again stands for the post upper respiratory disease area. Um, for these rooms, we do actually require you to wear gowns and booties, or sorry, just booties before going in um, so that we don't, we're not spreading the disease around the rest of the shelter. Uh, for this room, we have uh, 10 girls in here, and uh, three that have been here the longest are Kaya, Baby, and Sasha, which they are um, featured up on our board here. Kaya has been here 333 days as of today, uh, Baby 317, and Sasha 313. So this is getting to be quite a long time for these girls to be here. So again, if you guys are possibly considering adopting a new family member, please come on down to the shelter and take a look. Okay, and finally we have our last of the five uh, fem or, sorry, cat adoption rooms, and this is called our male perda room. So again, all of these guys have been sick in the past, but they are better now. Uh, we have nine in here right now, and the ones who have been here the longest are Ty, who is 195 days, uh, Tigger, who is 220 days, and Ziggy, who is 204 days. Now again, if you guys are at all considering a new family member, please come on down, take a look. All these guys have different personality types, uh, different ages, hair lengths, colors, all of that. Um, and another thing I'd just like to quickly mention is that we do have our SNF program. Um, for those of you out there who don't know about it, it stands for a Spay and Neuter Initiative Fund. And so that means any uh, families who are low income, which is under 35000 per year for their total household income, we can assist in helping you spay and neuter your pets. So if uh, you need that type of assistance, please uh, give us a shout, 250-861-7722, extension 7, and we'd be happy to tell you about it. Okay, and that wraps up this week's Castanet segment. I'm Jen Meyer, and you can reach us at 250-861-7722, and we're located at 3785 Casorsa Road.